to the question I want to bring you, Dr. Monda. Madam Asigi raised a very interesting question, but I thought, and I'm not on a fishing expedition, I thought you got confused. Do you know the difference between an M-Pesa app and M-Pesa Kawaida? Uh, Madam Speaker, I, I, may, I may be lost between the two. Yeah. I, 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 can you explain I, if you can? Lastly, this money that you sent erroneously, have you ever sent any other erroneous money to anybody at any one time? And did you get a reversal? And how do you claim that money back? Thank you. Madam Speaker, if, with your permission, I may start with the, the M-Pesa. <coughs> uh, I'm lost between the M-Pesa app and the M-Pesa by the Senator Onyonga, what he called M-Pesa Kawaida. Uh, Madam Speaker, I may be on the Kawaida M-Pesa because I do not have not had the difference between the two. Uh, I will have to refer when I leave this, uh, this uh, Senate. Uh, <clears throat> and so on the matter of reversal, what did you ask? I asked whether you have ever sent any other money other than this money to anybody else before this exercise started or even now. Yes, Madam Speaker, I've done. M-Pesa is a continuous process by everyone uh, of this era. And so I've sent and I've lost, sometimes I've lost the money. And sometimes when I'm able to call and get the money sent back, I have succeeded to get the money back. This happens all the time. Uh, and I think my considered opinion is that it is for that reason that the Savaricom decided to have uh, the, the two uh, reversal and even sending back. Madam Speaker, <clears throat> on the first question, the Honorable Senator has asked me to explain a little. All I know, once sworn into government, uh, we are expected to transact government business in designated areas, gazetted areas, such that the, the Senate will conduct business in the designated Senate, as an example, Madam Speaker, and uh, this assembly. But in my case and the case, once we came into government after being sworn in, and this was in the presence of my super senator, Richard Yonyonga, we did um, the swearing in. Just to guide you, we do not have any super senator. Okay. They are yeah. all senators. Uh, Madam Speaker, I, I withdraw that and... Uh, Replace it, replace Let's it with Senator Onyonga. Honorable Senator is the official <laughs> title. <laughs> Can you continue with the answer? Yes. Proceed Mad on. Madam Speaker, once we were sworn in the previous governor's office by the former governor, was of course available, but we did not occupy that space, including my space as a deputy governor, on the grounds that my governor will want to do renovations to those offices before we occupy them. And therefore, we had to start operating from the holding um, rooms of the Kisi Stadium. And we've remained in those um, holding rooms in the stadium until today as I speak here. Madam Speaker, if I were to be impeached by this motion, I wouldn't have stepped into the, the official gazette um, governor's offices in Kisi as at now. And after a short while, Madam Speaker, at the stadium, my governor, His Excellency Mbarati, decided to start conducting 
government meetings in his own residence in Motonto village. And this has remained the position of the Kisi County government over many years without imputing um, any wrong motive, Madam Speaker. We have found ourselves in a situation where even the Judicial Service Commission visited Kisi and we were required to go to the rural home where we went and uh, we held that meeting th there and it was painful for me having the Judicial Service Commission conducting a, an official meeting in a private residency. Madam Speaker, this is the scenario in brief in Kisi. The CECs will find their way to that home every day. The, the chief officers, the same, and the directors, the same. Madam Speaker, at some point as I raised this matter, I started getting excluded from attending those meetings and without getting, and totally not getting information that there is any meeting going on anywhere where a deputy governor can also attend. That is the scenario in Kisi. I will want to stop there, hoping I have answered the Honorable uh, Senator's question, Thank inviting you. this Senate to visit Kisi and see by yourselves, Madam Speaker, that that's the scenario we are in, in Thank Kisi you. County. Thank you.